As we go through life, one challenge we all have to face is with weariness. It's easy to get tired. Weary means to lose your sense of pleasure, to not feel the enjoyment that you should. You can be raising great children, but because you're weary, you're not enjoying them. You can have the job of your dreams. You worked hard to get it, but now weariness has set in. You're not passionate about it anymore. Sometimes, because the battle is taking longer than we thought, we become weary. You can break physically, you can break mentally, you can break your heart, you can break your spirit, and all of those are going to leave a mark. The mark that they leave can be the mark of victory or it can be the mark of defeat. It is staying with the breaking that produces the blessing. It is not what you go through that determines where you end up. It's who you listen to. I pose this to you. The question was, where have you been? Why are you here? And where are you going? That's what I ask you. Where have you been? Where have you been up to this point? You look at your life. You look at what you produce. Is it giving you what you want? Are you living on purpose? Are you living your dream? Are you acting on your ideas? Are you doing all you can do? Have you gotten comfortable? Are you procrastinating? Are you invading your own greatness? Are you surrounding yourself with people that can nourish you? Are you challenging yourself? Are you experimenting? Are you learning something different? Is your life an adventure or is it boring? Imagine if you got what you want every time. No struggle. No hard work, no challenges, no hard work required. Some of you are saying that would be great. You would be weak. And then when something hard comes up in your life, you wouldn't know how to handle it. Because you have never gone through anything that strengthens you. You cannot grow without struggle. You cannot develop strength without resistance, without challenging yourself, without struggle. Think about your own life. I know there have been areas in your life where some point in time you just shifted and you raised the standard and your life changed. Because whatever people have their identity attached to, they live. We live who we believe we are. Self-confidence also comes from the ability to rise above your circumstances. To rise above what happened, the petty little things the discouraging things that would sink everyone else's ship except you. It would cause someone else to quit early in the day, but you keep going. That kind of willingness to overcome all circumstances. Your why? Your why is going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why? If you want to begin to make this stuff happen for you, I think that it's very important that you start trusting yourself. Listen to yourself. Listen to that still small voice within you. What is important is that you don't let yourself down. Have inner integrity. If you tell yourself you will do something, do it. If you try and fail, try again. Yes, we are. Yes, we're hungry. Yes, the mind is saying give up. Yes, it's saying quit. But we cannot quit because we realize we have not reached the goal yet.